Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for my lovely Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hope you're doing amazing Sagittarius. I want to wish you guys happy holidays. I hope you guys enjoy it and spend it with those that really matter to you. Let's get into your reading. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels. What are the messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is it that they need to know at this present time? What can they expect for this month of December 2021? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, I'm going to shuffle one more. Here we go. All right. Let's get into your reading, Sagittarius. So the energy or the general energy that you're going to be experiencing here, as you guys can see, we have the Tower card. So the Tower is definitely a very, very strong, very, um, very strong and very powerful energy. This speaks about changes, major transformations that are going to be unfolding for you uh, for this month of December. Um, this can also represent the solar eclipse that we're going to be experiencing as well as it is concluding in your sign, Sagittarius. So um, what this indicates is with lunar and solar eclipses, this is major transformative energy. This is what has been leading to, to you uh, since we last begun the lunar eclipse uh, in your sign. And this is the, the culmination of that. And again, when we have eclipses, these are major transformations. So you are definitely being pushed, Sagittarius, for the month of December to embrace everything that is new, to embrace anything that is newness to you, whether it's a different way of thinking, whether it's doing or finding a different way of doing your, you know, your projects, your business, your career, your way of making money. This is about opening yourself up completely to the possibilities. A lot of the times we build or we construct um, our ideas, our way of living, our everyday life um, based on certain, you know, what we've experienced in the past. And the beauty of the tower is that it breaks every single barrier whether it's mentally, physically, or on a spiritual level. And it gives you the, it propels you to a new way of living, a new way of thinking, a new way of existing. So with the tower, this is major transformative energy. And I feel that for a lot of you guys, this is in every single aspect of your life. You may feel like the past couple of months you've been challenged but the beauty in this is that in this challenge, you're able to rise to the occasion. And don't doubt for one second, Sagittarius, that you're not capable of doing it because you are. What they're telling you here is believe more in yourself and embrace anything that is new and release anything that is old because it no longer, no longer serves you. Now, underneath the tower here, we have the seven, sorry, the seeker of coins. So... This is a representation of communication, communication that is coming in um, that could be in guidance to wherever area in your life currently is being challenged. This is get, getting concrete and grounded advice. This is communicating or going to those that truly inspire you or that you know without a doubt that you can take their advice because they are living proof of what they preach. Very, very beautiful energy here. So we're going to pull these to the side. And let's get into your reading, Sagittarius. Now your first card here is the Seven of Swords. For some of you guys, this is again the release. The release of anything that has been... Uh, that has been hidden, that has been hidden either from you or that you've hid from other people, whether it's intentions, whether it's actions, or whether it's your way of thinking. A lot of the times we can hold back, we can, you know, show ourselves to agree 
even though we may disagree, but the reason why we don't truly speak our truth is because we're scared of either being judged or we're scared of speaking up because we don't want to come off as judging others. The Seven of Swords indicates something or someone has not been completely honest or transparent. We have the Conqueror of Wands here. So this is communication in regards to something that has been hidden or something that has not been completely presented to you as the truth. Maybe someone's been holding back emotions, feelings, or maybe they've been walking on eggshells because you've made them feel a certain type of way, Sagittarius, and they feel like they can't fully express themselves because you may take that as judgment. Your next card here is the Nine of Swords. Releasing yourself from that of negative thoughts, negative patterns, negative behaviors. This is the card of anxiety. This is the card of worries. You're releasing yourself from that. Why? Because we have the tower here. That's what's being broken. Your way of thinking that is not in a positive or constructive manner or way. This creates, it's, it's almost like you become a hindrance to yourself and to your self-growth because of your way of thinking or the lack of thinking. Keep in mind the conqueror of wands always indicates being rash, being quick to make decisions or taking actions without fully thinking of the consequences. Your next part here is the five of cups. Releasing yourself from past burdens, from past um, experiences, sad experiences, experiences where you felt like you were taken for granted or people didn't appreciate what you brought to the table, what you did for them. You also have the Four of Swords. So for some of you guys, you're releasing yourself from a toxic, very toxic karmic connection here. We have the Tower, the Seeker of Coins, the Seven of Swords, the Illusion, right? Sometimes we care or fall for people so deeply that we've convinced ourselves this is the person for us. It must mean that we have to work through this. And sometimes that's deceiving ourselves because deep down inside, we know this person may not be right for us because if they were the one that was right, we wouldn't have to constantly be fighting to maintain the relationship. Five of Cups is the realization. The realization that comes after making a decision or acknowledgement that perhaps this connection is not as strong or as deep meaning as we thought. The Four of Swords is that of contemplation, taking time to really fully be able to heal those parts of ourselves whether it was from past experiences or whether it's in the relationship that you're at right now, Sagittarius. But there is definitely a halting energy here. They're telling you the tower is something that you are still going through. And through this process, you must internalize. You must figure out, do you want to continue on this cycle? what you've been going through for the past, let's say, four years? Are you still wanting to continue dealing with the cycle? If you're not, you must release yourself completely. You must let go of that which may feel like home to you or may feel very familiar to you. And that's the reason why you hold on, not necessarily because of the passions or because, you know, the love. For some of you guys, this is just complacency. And what they're telling you is we can't, we don't have room for complacency after we've experienced a tower moment. Because a tower moment, it is the universe breaking down every single barrier, every single brick we have built. Because it wasn't built on solid foundation. And w whether we try to sweep things under the rug, we must... Acknowledge them now before we begin our journey towards a stronger foundation. 
And finally here you have the three of coins working together. This is a representation of all of those that perhaps have tried to guide you at some point, perhaps have given you some type of advice. Perhaps they've tried to look out for you and you take it personal. You take it like you're being judged or like people are in essence picking at you, nitpicking at you. And what they're telling you here is, no, it's not that they're nitpicking at you. It's that they see so much potential in you, Sagittarius. It's time you start to see that in yourself. You cannot help others if you don't help yourself. You cannot change or transform your life or help others transform their lives if you can't do that for yourself. There is definitely a shedding. And for some of you guys with the tower here and the snakes, I'm seeing the shedding of self-destructive behavior, whether it's alcohol uh substance abuse or whether this is you releasing yourself from this karmic toxic relationship but there is definitely a breaking of links from everything that has been toxic or that has been holding you back that's no longer going to be the case you're releasing yourself whether you're ready or not the universe is breaking down those barriers is breaking down those patterns so that you can acknowledge them, so you can be aware of them, so that you can walk towards your purpose. So a lot, a lot of major transformative energy for you Sagittarians for this month of December. I want to wish you guys the very best. I hope that this gives you some type of insight, guidance, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.